Okay, so it says solve the following using substitution. If you want to use the substitution method, I really use it when one of the variables is already solved for. Here the x and y are on the same side, same with this thing. So if you want to use substitution, the first thing you've got to do is get one of the variables alone. So I can either solve the first equation for x or the second equation for y. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to solve the first equation for x by subtracting with my marker works. Give me one second. By subtracting 4y from both sides. So now I have x equals negative 34 minus 4y. Okay. And I have 3x plus y equals negative 36. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what x equals, which is negative 34 minus 4y, and plug it in for x in the second equation. So instead of writing 3x, I'm going to write 3 times the quantity, negative 34 minus 4y plus 4y, oops, sorry, plus y equals negative 36. Now it's just a matter of distributing. When you do replace the x with this expression, make sure, make sure, make sure to use parentheses. But now my next step is to distribute. So I'll distribute through both. Uh, I get negative 90, what is this, 102 minus 12y plus y. I did that again, y equals negative 36. So I'm just going to combine like terms. I have negative 102 minus 11y equals negative 36. Get the 11y by itself. I'm going to add 102. Add 102. So I get negative 11y equals positive 66. Dividing both sides by negative 11, I get y equals negative 6. Once you have y or x, whichever one you solved for first, just plug it back into the original equation or the one that's solved for the other variable to get x. x equals negative 34 minus 4 times negative 6. x equals negative 34 plus 24 x equals negative 10. Oops, sorry about that. So we get negative 10 comma negative 6.